Hi everyone! Today's episode will show you how to create bootable SD card with latest Anapta Gateway firmware. Our Anapta Gateway firmware is based on open source Linux operation system and can run on any x86 based architecture PCs. At Anapta we recommend to use Intel new platform, which have a lot of advantages, such as compact size, low power consumption and wide range of communication abilities, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Each Anapta gateway comes with a hard drive, which used to store the user space data, such as connection settings, Anapta gateway configuration and telemetry buffer. The bootable firmware is located on SD card. This approach is simplify and setup and update process, as you just need to flash the latest firmware image to the existing on new SD card, plug it into the Nuke and press power button to boot. Each Intel Nuke shipped from Anapta comes with a quick start guide, which helps to prepare the device for the first run. In case you miss it, you can always download the latest version at handbook.anapta.com. We will leave the link in the description of this video. To prepare your bootable card, you will require 8GB SD card, card reader, and Mac or PC with a fast internet connection. Launch your favorite web browser and point it to the fw.anapta.com website to download the latest gateway firmware image. When download process is finished, check the downloaded file. On the next step, download Balena Etcher for your operation system. It supports Windows, Mac and Linux. The links to the websites will be available in the descriptions to this video. Install Etcher according to the instructions. For Windows, we recommend to use portable version, as it doesn't require a long setup process. After the installation, run the app. On the main screen, click Flash from the file and choose the firmware image you've just downloaded. Plug the SD card into your card reader. At this step, Etcher will automatically recognize and select your card. If you have several SD cards connected, don't forget to check if you've selected the right one. Press Flash button. Please note that at this step, all data on your SD card will be destroyed. The flashing process will start. The app may will require the administrator's rights to proceed. The process will take some time and depends on speed of your card, card reader and computer. When the flashing is finished, remove the card. Ensure your gateway is powered off and plug the SD card into SD slot of the Nuke. Connect the power and wait for about 3 minutes for system to boot. If your system have auto boot feature disabled, press the power button. The next step is to scan the QR code on the top lid of the Nuke with an Apter application. Now you can follow the instructions on the screen of your mobile phone to set up your gateway.